real estate market has no signs of changing from changing what i'm saying is market is very very consistently inconsistent one day something happens and another day another thing happens the dynamics are rapidly changing while it seems like a grim slowing down interest rate increasing real estate shrinking market but that's not the case the dynamics are changing for sure government policies customer uh, behavior real estate professionals uh, state of mind all of that are causing it to change very very rapidly and consistently now most of the people who enter in the market in an uptight when it's rising and there is a lot of activity and there is quick money to be made people from everywhere swarm into real estate they get licenses quickly or not but whatever they can do they jump into it and they you know look to make some quick bucks and as soon as the tide changes they want to run away there are few who stay in the market who have taken real estate in their career very very seriously who are professionals who want to stay in here and who want to tell other people who want to get into real estate profession that the profession is evergreen it is going to be there market dynamics will always be changing but the professionals will be there now how to become a professional how to get into a market and what kind of market to get into what are the basic qualifications what are the personality traits and where should the professionals look forward to from here we have kelly clayton with us uh, uh, kelly is a, a seasoned veteran uh, in real estate you know her very well we've been doing these programs for a while now and she's always available to help she's she makes herself available you are welcome to uh, uh, communicate with us with kelly directly anytime and she will be very very happy to help you kelly you heard me uh, you see the market you see how professionals are you know uncertain the people who were looking forward to get into the real estate market they're hesitant like the buyers and sellers and all those other people are hesitant what do you have to say Dr. Khan, it's a great time to get into the real estate or the mortgage market as a licensed mortgage loan originator or real estate agent. Both, really? Yes, I, it's a great time. I mean, what you you can come into this market with just a high school diploma, and it's not just a job; it's a career. All right. So tell us, tell us more. Then I, I mean. I see most of the people who are already in the market, they are unclear, they want to, many of them want to quit or find some side hustles, you know, in, it's a gig economy after all. And, and people who wanted to enthusiastically looking to get into the market, and they're hesitant as well. Tell us how they can get into the market, what they need to do, how, what should they prepare for, what kind of traits they should have. And both while uh, realtors like real estate brokerage as well as mortgage brokerage seem similar. What are the similarities and differences? There's there's a lot of differences. So let's just take a couple differences and start. First of all, one the real the realtor position would be out in the field working with the client, showing houses, representing their um, rights on the contractual agreement. Whereas a loan officer is someone that's going to be in the office, they're going to be using a desktop more, watching the interest rates, keeping up with market trends, working more with numbers than actually interacting so much with people. So you have to figure out what are your desired career goals to, to be up and out of the office or to be in the office. I mean, everybody has to think about those things. First of all, so you can find a career, not just a job, but a career that will make you happy. Kelly, while I agree with most of it, but I think mortgage loan originators are equally, equally, you know, responsible for getting out, meeting with people, not sitting at their computer or in their office all the time. They should be networking. They should be meeting with people. They should be, you know, looking for business by helping people you know, about the mortgage products, about the, the loan process, et cetera, et cetera. So you are absolutely right. 
that there is a fundamental difference between these two. Some people like to drive around with customers looking for homes and all that, and some do not. But I still uh, tell all the real estate professionals that it's a people's business and people must trust you and trust comes over time. You must meet with them. So while Kelly, while most of the information is available on uh, corresponding states, departments that will deal with professional licensing, they can go and get the requirements from there. Can you can you quickly give us a few points or pointers that uh, what, what kind of qualification they, uh, these professionals should have? And what is the difference between a realtor's qualification and an MLO's qualification? <laughs> Both a realtor and a mortgage loan originator should have an honest reputation, be someone trustworthy, someone competent, someone that understands they have to safeguard people's personal information. Um, they can't have a misdemeanor, drug felony, felony, any kind of, um, you know, injury or moral turpitude violation. So I just want to want to put that out there. Both of them will re be required to take classes, but a loan officer will take 20 hours of class and a state and federal exam. A realtor is going to be required to take 60 hours of class and a state and federal exam. Those are the requirements. And then after that, let's talk about that for a moment. Um, the, the next year, the mortgage loan originator after passing the state and federal exam. And the next year, they're going to have to have eight hours of continuing education, whereas a realtor is going to have to have 30 hours of continuing ed in the next year. <clears throat> in addition to that, they're both going to have to sit under a company. The loan officer will get paid W-2, which means their taxes will be taken out. A realtor is going to be 1099. And, and what I was talking about the difference is the realtors are considered independent contractors, but mortgage loan originators, they need to keep up with the rates. The rates can change. They'll have clients. So they are going to have to make that effort to be tuned in to, you know, the interest rates every day to their customers. They have time schedules. So even though they will get to go out of the office and they will network and, and talk to people, they, there's a little bit more requirement every day that they're going to have to log in and keep up with the interest rates, lock their clients in. And it's a very economically driven business. A lot, uh, many times the loan officer's hours can be anywhere from 8 to 6 p.m. and in the evening if need be. But most mortgage companies are not open on the weekends. The realtor, uh, the realtors, however, are the most busiest on the weekends when their clients are wanting to look at houses. Um, so both positions require customer service, attention to detail. They're going to have to take some education, but they, but it's a great, great career to get into. It's not a job; it's a career.